Matit Yahu, Matthew 16. The Padashim also with the Sadokim came, and tempting desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and low ring. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the times? A wicked and adulterous nation seeks after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it, but the sign of the prophet Yonah. And he left them and departed. And when his Talmudim were come to the other side, they had forgotten to take bread. Then Yahusha said unto them, Take heed and beware of the leaven of the Parashim and of the Sadakim. And they reasoned among themselves, saying, It is because we have taken no bread. Which when Yahusha perceived, he said unto them, O ye of little belief, why reason ye among yourselves, because ye have brought no bread? Do ye not understand, neither remember, the five loaves of the five thousand, and how many baskets ye took up, neither the seven loaves of the four thousand, and how many baskets ye took up? How is it that ye do not understand that I spoke it not to you concerning bread, that ye should beware of the leaven, of the parashim, and of the sadakim. Then understood they how that he bade them not beware of the leaven of bread, but of the doctrine of the parashim and of the sadakim. When Yahusha came into the coasts of Kecharia, Philippi, he asked at his Talmudim, saying, Whom do men say that I, the son of Adam, am? And they said, Some say that you are Yahuchanan, the immerser, some Eleyahu, and others Yeremiyahu, or one of the prophets. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Shimon Kepha, rather Kepha, answered and said, You are Hamashiach, the son of the living Yah. And Yahusha answered and said unto him, Blessed are you, Shimon, bar rather bar for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto you that you are Kepha, and upon this rock I will rebuild at my called out assembly, and the gates of Sheol shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of Yahweh, and whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then charged he his Talmudim that they should tell no man that he was Yahusha HaMashiach. From that time forth began Yahusha to show unto his Talmudim how that he must go unto Yerushalayim and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. Then Kepha took him and began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from you, Adonai, this shall not be unto you. But he turned and said unto Kepha, Get behind me, Satan, you are an offense unto me, for you savor not the things that be of Yahuwah, but those that be of men. Then said Yahusha unto his Talmudim, 
If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his staff and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? For the son of Adam shall come in the glory of his father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. Amen, I say unto you, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the son of Adam coming in his kingdom.